Hey friends, Justin here. I am fresh out of the theater seeing Renaissance by Beyonce. And I wanted to jump on immediately to share my thoughts. I bought my tickets November 2nd and I laid in bed tonight. I was tired from work. It's been a long week commuting. And 10 minutes before the film started, the fire jumped in me and I'm like, let's go. I jumped in the car, got to the theater and got in my seat just as the last preview was finishing and the concert was starting. I was in, people were dressed in their Renaissance costumes. I was, my row, um, even though they were all kind of races, all ages of folks there at the theater and I was really happy to see that. My particular row was a sea of black people. We were shoulder to shoulder. We didn't know each other, but we laughed, we sang together, we cried at the same moments, and it was really, really a fun experience. Um, I recommend that you guys, if even if you're hesitant, go see this in a theater. I think it is historical. I mean, Beyonce is 30 years into her solo career and started singing in earnest in the late 1980s. And it's hard looking at her to appreciate the time and the longevity of, of her career. I say go see this because at 42 years old, she talks about transitioning into a new stage of her life, one that's filled with a little less people pleasing and a little bit more peace. And so to see peak Beyonce in such a production is something I, I don't think you will regret seeing uh, in the theater. She manages to leave no stone unturned. Any question that you have, she answers. Anyone that you wanna see is there. There are celebrity cameos. Uh, featured artists, I mean, you name it. I'm not going to spoil, but you will just be thrilled with what you see. The stage is shaking and it's like you're on, you know, on a ride. The costumes are morphing as she's singing, you know, she, as she throws her hair the color of her dress changes. Um, and sometimes it's just the sunglasses that change and, and morph. Um, it is such a, a thrilling concert to watch. Um, and she is in such control of the space around her that it's awe-inspiring. It, it's as if she's got a marionette controlling her wig. How does the hair fall exactly where she wants it to fall? <laughs> you know, I'm sitting there stunned and so is everyone else at just the control that this lady has. Two hours and 50 minutes into the film, she does Crazy in Love, you know, one of her, her classics. And at the end of it, the whole theater just bursts out into applause. There's not a drop of sweat on this 42-year-old woman after three hours of, of performing. Um, she is so in control and, and it's, you know, I'm just, I'm struggling to find the words. Um, she honors her family, her mother, her father, who, you know, all of which are in the film. She honors uh, legends and Motown singers and um, people that made it possible for her to be her. And they're in the film, and it's it's exhilarating to watch. Um, to see Jay Z in the audience dancing, doing the hustle, and doing the electric slide along with the Beehive, and celebrities, it, the first couple of rows of the, the you know a lot of the film were full of celebrities. And they were just like us, fanning out, dancing, you know, arms in the air, scream, you know, screaming. And it is so exhilarating to watch. She has 
um, multi Grammy award winning artists that come out for features and they come out for 35 seconds at a time. They come up and go down because she is the draw and the star of the show. And you never, ever, ever forget it. Um, I cried four or five times in this film um, for her daughter, you know, her relationship with her family, her relationship to culture, um, her relationship to herself and peace at this point in her career. Um, it's, it's really, really something to see. Um, you know, Blue Ivy deals with public backlash about her performances at the beginning of the tour. And what she does about it is something that will probably make you very, very emotional um, to know that this is truly, truly Beyonce's child. Um, if you don't get the hype, if you don't get the hype now, you will understand it as you see the film. There's um, a scene where she's flying in a helicopter over Houston, her hometown. And she's exhilarated, pointing out these places. I sang at that Fiesta supermarket in the parking lot. I sang on the intercom here. It, um, and you get a sense of how much work and how much dedication and practice it took to become the artist that, that she is. Um, it was... A consummate show. Beyonce is the ultimate, ultimate entertainer. And as much as I knew that, I mean, I've been a fan since 1997. I had her Glastonbury DVD uh, and watched that over and over again. You know, I thought that was the greatest performance I had ever seen as as high a caliber, you know, and as big a skeptic as, as you are, she's going to prove you wrong. And um, it's, it's really something to see. It gave me so much to think about. It refreshed me. It rejuvenated me. And, you know, I, I, I'm encouraged moving forward to do things that honor my mother, who was uh, my biggest champion. Um, and she, you know, she talks about how she is just the perfect mix of both of her parents. She honors both her mother and her father in beautiful ways in this film. And you can tell that this is not a girl that's phoning it in. She's not getting off of screen and going and having a beer and, and smoking a cigarette. She is purely focused on being excellent. And seeing how she honors her parents' sacrifices in that way made me a better person. It made me want to be sober more and to strive to just be better in so many ways. And I think you'll get a sense of that if once you see this film. Um, I hope once you if you stream it at home that you still get that sense of grandeur, but it was one of the most incredible things I've seen. So I, I, I recommend that you go see it. I had a blast. The whole theater had a blast. When the film was over, we burst out into applause. And um, yeah, it was wonderful. Have you guys seen either the con the actual concert or the movie yet? Let me know and share your, opin your opinions, your thoughts, and what was your experience. The second episode of my podcast drops tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central. So come, come back here tomorrow for that. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.